But first tonight at 6, a debate over cloning is likely to reignite after a big scientific breakthrough. Lawmakers may consider stopping researchers here from implementing a major new stem cell discovery in the name of medical ethics. Political reporter Jess Garp looked into the new cloning technique and whether an old bill may be revived. It's an exciting step forward, I think. Scientists at the UW Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Center are watching closely after a discovery in the state of Oregon, where researchers announced they've successfully put DNA from a baby into a human egg, eventually creating an embryo with stem cells identical to the child. The implications are that now things such as therapeutic cloning can be done. That is, now there will be stem cells that are matched identically to a patient and can be used to develop the cells that may be useful for therapy. But the possibility of cloning in general concerns some lawmakers. The idea of creating human life for the sole purpose of destroying it um, raises some questions that need to be answered. Representative Steve Castell was the assembly sponsor of a ban on reproductive and therapeutic cloning that passed the legislature in 2005, only to be vetoed by Governor Jim Doyle. At that time, there was quite a bit of activity around human cloning nationally. Um, researchers in Wisconsin did not in any way condemn the practice and and so there was obviously concern about the ethics behind human cloning. Castell says he's exploring whether or not to push for that bill again but UW researchers say they hope not. I think an outright ban of all type of research like this would be detrimental uh, to researchers here and researchers elsewhere as well depending on how uh, where such things were enacted. Um, certainly it's a conversation that needs to be had and an informed conversation based on the science and careful ethical considerations. Castell won't say for sure that he will reintroduce this bill, instead saying he wants to learn more about this procedure. Meanwhile, Camp says that UW researchers will likely need to know more about the technique themselves before moving to that method, rather than using traditional embryonic or the newer IPS cells for their research. Old debates begin anew. Jessica Arp tonight. Jess, thanks. Thank you, Jess.